Hi everybody, welcome to today's workout. For today, I want you to grab some dumbbells. We have a quick 10 minute per round dumbbell workout. So you can go through one round of this, you can repeat it up to three times, you can pair it with another workout. I also have done this workout for time, which I'm gonna go through with you now, but also for reps, where I did 20 reps per exercise. So real quick, if you like working out with me and you're not already subscribed, make sure that you subscribe and click that like button um, so that you keep getting more workouts. I'm gonna show you one of the exercises just because it can be a little bit tricky. It's a row and a reach. Um, so for this exercise, if you only have heavier dumbbells, you might wanna set it down. So I'm gonna show you what I mean with one dumbbell, we're gonna flat back row, keeping that back flat, that's the important part. We're gonna extend to there and bring it back down. So if that extension is too much, if you can't do it without straining your back, you're gonna row, set it down, reach body weight, okay? Everything else I will take you through as we go. Um, I think we're ready to go. Let's get into the workout. So we have 10 seconds of prep time. Our first exercise is gonna be a curtsy lunge. I'm alternating between 20 and 12 pound dumbbells, um, just cause like that exercise move I showed you just a second ago, all one side curtsy lunge. Weight goes to the outside of the hip. You're stepping to the corner of the room and we're gonna do a little bicep curl there too. So reverse lunge at an angle. Whoops, I added an extra curl there just to keep it interesting, right? Tap it outside of the hip and curl. Breathe through it. So you do want to get in max reps, but you also want to use good form. Keep moving. Doing good. We're almost there, guys. Okay, a little break and we're gonna do the other side. If you need to set your weight down and shake it out, you can do that. Otherwise, hang on to it. We're gonna do exact same thing, other direction. So outside of the hip, bring it up. So we're using those core muscles. Our workout today is focused on compound exercises. So exercises that are multi-joint, multi-functional of a big burn, okay? So working and strengthening a lot of muscles at the same time. Keep going. Doing good. Excellent. Next, we're going to have a skier or a kettlebell swing. So if you're using a kettlebell or one dumbbell, you're gonna go between the legs, squeeze through the hips to reach. Or you can use two dumbbells, arms go back, squeeze through the hips. So this is not a big momentum exercise. We're not cut pushing down like a squat, we're pushing back, squeeze through the glutes. Good job, guys. Make sure you squeeze those glutes. Back is flat, hips press back. Drive through those heels to stand up. Excellent. Nice little cardio burn on this one too. Good job. Now we're going to have that bent over row and reach that I showed you before we get started. So for the row, flat back, weight comes into the chest toward the ribs, release, reach. So elbows are hugging into the sides, core is engaged and stable, flat back. going. You 
are doing so good. Less than 10 seconds. Stabilize through that strong core. Almost there. Good job. We're gonna have a sit through press next. So sit through, we're hovering uh, like beast pose. We're gonna kick through and then we're gonna plant one foot, grab that dumbbell, press. We're gonna do all one side, then the other. Press it up. Press. So lots of mobility through the hips and the waist with that. Little twist. Breathe. Keep going. Excellent job. Same thing to the other side. So left, or whichever side you didn't just do, is gonna kick through, and other arm is going to press. Breathe through it. Keep going, fun and functional. Getting some nice range of motion, mobility, full body strength. You're doing excellent, keep, keep moving. We're almost there. Okay, next we are going to have a renegade row from a plank. So you can grab your weights. You can, if they're big enough, you can keep your hands on them during your plank. Feet are a little bit wide. Row, outside of the rib cage. Core strong. Row. My shoulders are feeling the burn on this one. So we're trying to keep both hip bones pointed toward the ground. Breathe. Breathe. If it gets crazy, you can kneel and do the motion too. But if you can, push through it to the end. Good job. Okay, we're gonna have a kneeling wood chopper next. I'm gonna go back to these lighter weights so my shoulders don't yell at me too much. So we're gonna kneel. We're gonna bring it to the outside of the back knee, up and over. So using those core muscles, arms, shoulders, back to work everything. So back is still flat, whoops. So as you reach, you're keeping that motion. Good job, same thing, other direction. So I want you to think about those core muscles working as you twist and rotate. But it's a controlled motion anytime you twist especially when you're twisting with a weight. You wanna make sure you are controlling that motion. That weight isn't throwing you around. You are moving it with your power, with your strength. I know you have both, because you're here with me right now. So working on getting that power and strength even higher. Breathe. Breathe. 
Only one exercise left after this one, guys. We are almost there. And then you get to tell me how many rounds you did and if you had a favorite exercise. Okay, angel abs. This is a hardcore exercise I'll show you without the weight. So without the weight, knees drop, circle under like they're making a V or a U under your hands. You can also put the hands down if that's too much. With the weight, it's gonna hang out at your shoulders. We're making that big V or U on the ground. Pulling those knees into your chest in between, really activating all of those core muscles. Breathe through it, you can do this. Last exercise. Almost there guys, three seconds. Okay, and we're in our cool down now. Let's stand up, start marching in place just to let the body cool down a little bit. Good job, and we are finished. As I mentioned, you can repeat this exactly how we just did it. I like to- Activity completed. Yay, yay, yay. When I do this workout, um, so last week I did this, I did two rounds of it. One, exactly how we just did it. Second round, I went for 20 reps for exercise. Um, depending on the amount of weight you're using, you might do 10 reps for exercise. If you're using a heavier weight, where the last two are challenging for you, if you're looking to build a little bit more strength, endurance, lean muscle combo, you can have that up to 20 reps for exercise, which is kind of where I like to be. Um, but there's huge benefits to doing 10 reps too with heavier weights. You're gonna make really nice strength gains that way. As always, full breakdown will be on our website, benderfitness.com. So photo tutorial breakdown, over a thousand other workouts, all free, all there. So check it out. And if you are able to make a donation to help keep us free and sustainable so we can keep doing what we love and sharing it with you, you can go to patreon.com slash Bender Fitness. Every donation is greatly appreciated. Like I said, that's what keeps us able to keep bringing these workouts to you. So thank you to our supporters. Let me know in the comments if you had a favorite exercise and how many rounds you do, and I will see you soon with more new workouts. Bye guys.